Oh. Alright, so hi everyone, uh, or listener. Today we're up the ridgeway. I don't know if you can see, but right in the distance over there, that's the motorhome. It's been parked up since we went to the Lake District a couple of months ago, so I thought it'd be a good time to get the wheels move in and they're not really built for sitting around for months on end. They do tend to deteriorate, so I thought I'd take it for a drive. So we're at on the ridgeway at East Ilsley. That's the view across back towards uh, Didcot over there. And the uh, power station and I believe that's Cullum Laboratories there. Um, it's a bit chillier today. It's been lovely. It's been very mild. But, um, it's, uh, we've got rain coming, so I thought another good opportunity to get the van out for a, a drive. So anyway, Josie, bless her, she's um, she's aging, I think. You know, she's starting to be quite stiff after a walk. Um, Sometimes after a walk she needs to be lifted up onto the sofa or onto the bed. <laughs> yeah, she's a duvet dog. Wouldn't have her any other way. But yeah, so she's got an MOT coming up with... Uh, uh, actually, he's a Portuguese vet. So uh, he's, he's, um, he's the chap that when we bought Josie, she was described as, uh, as a mixed breed. Um, they believed it had some sort of uh, dog that started with a P, but they couldn't remember. And uh, the wife, Caroline, she did a bit of searching and found Portuguese Pedengo, and we thought that might be uh, what she was. But, you know, uh, not a purebred, as it were. But um, no, it took, to, took her to this vet, this Portuguese vet, the local vets. He's an absolutely superb vet, brilliant, brilliant with uh, all the animals we've ever had and taken to him. And um, he's called Arturo. And uh, well, as soon as we walked in, he went, oh, no, it's a Padengo, a Portuguese Padengo. I don't think his voice is quite as high as that, but you get the drift. And yeah, so she is a purebred Portuguese Padengo. She's got smooth skin, and uh, sorry, not smooth skin, smooth fur, because some some of them can be quite coarse. Um, not to be uh, not to be confused with the bedenco, uh, which uh, I believe is is that Spanish Spanish bedenco. Uh, Joseph's a Portuguese bedenco. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but. So yeah, she's, when we got her, uh, or in the advert, she was uh, described as being one years old. Uh, but Arturo, the vet, said, no, nah, she's, she's closer to three. So we've had a seven year, so she's 10. And uh, although they do have very little health issues, um, and they, do have a good life expectancy, 12 to 14 years apparently. Um, she's starting to show the signs of age, probably like all of us. And uh, she's starting to get quite stiff. I accidentally trod on this long lead that I use with her because you know, the reason I use a long lead is um, I was speaking to a trainer once and uh, he trains gun dogs and military service dogs. Um, but he said specifically before recall and whatnot um, long lead is the way to go um, but also it allows them to do oh, uh, um, allows um, allows the hunting dog to basically do what they want to do which is to search and forage almost you know and sort of um, go a bit off piste whereas on a short lead they're not able to do that they just, um, well, they're just trying to walk by your side, basically. Well, 
I can't let Josie off the lead. She has zero recall out here. 100% recall in the house. Two whistles. And uh, she'll appear from anywhere in the garden and come to me. But out here, there's, there's far too much distraction and stuff going on. So it uh, doesn't listen to me at all. So at least the long lead gives her the opportunity to, you know, if she wanted to go into that bush over there, then she could. Um, you know, if she wanted to go over that way, then she could. If she picks up a smell, then she can follow it. But I still have her under control, so hence the, it's the long lead. But anyway, um, some of the health issues, or one of the health issues that they can suffer from, other than obviously arthritis, which is affects most most dog breeds, I think, is they can suffer from blindness. Um, so we have eye drops for her that we put in as regularly as we can just to sort of keep her eyes clean from any grit or anything like that. She does stick her face into stuff, so I'm always concerned she's going to stick her face into a bush and scratch her eye on a thorn or something or, um, you know, get pollen in her eyes or something like that. So, yeah, so... We have some eye drops on her. Um, but anyway, they're a lovely breed, the Bodengo. They are so friendly. Um, she loves people. We've got neighbours she goes absolutely berserk for. Uh, there's a bloke called David lives down the road. Whereas we're walking past, she always stops at her gate, as sorry, at his gate to see if he's in the front. You know, and uh, when he is, she goes absolutely berserk. She loves him. Um, but yeah, they are fantastic little dogs. And uh, anyway, just a quick catch up. I know I haven't posted since January last year, I think, but we've had a bit of a hell a couple of years with my wife's health. Um, and we haven't really been anywhere in the motorhome to speak of. A couple of times up to visit my son, uh, who lives in near Penrith in Cumbria. Um, Nothing really. Just really an update on Josie. And uh, I hope you're all well. I hope next year is good for you all. And uh, bye for now.